can I bring up Fight Forever? Yeah, absolutely. I'm not, okay. I'm not telling you you can't. I don't have a lot to say about it other than, you know, it was extremely ambitious. It appeared to be successful. And it looks oh. like they got at least a handful of, you know, very decent matches out of it. They um, did get a lot of good matches out of it. The uh, Tony Depp and Jordan Oliver sick, went two freaking hours. Double two broad. hours of, of Iron Man matches. Of pure wrestling Iron Man matches to fisticuff Iron Man matches to to like just beating the shit out of each other like just that alone w- would have been amazing. Uh, of course, our uh, friends of the show. Uh, we, we had a number of friends of the show. Yeah, BB Smooth there, Lady, Lady Frost, Smooth, Lady Facade, Frost, Bert, Ziggy, Facade fought Danny Mo to decide who does the dishes. Yeah. Um, that that literally that really did happen. That, that was really tweeted. That's not just me making a joke. Uh, um, we had we had Lee Moriarty there. Yep. Uh, like oh, um, you mentioned Ziggy Hyam. Mm-hmm. Like just a whole bunch of really good wrestlers doing really good wrestling things for, and, and it was for them. It was it was for the wrestlers themselves who put their bodies on the line. And I'm looking at the total right now. Uh, the, the the grand total you can you, you could have donated on indiegogo indiegogo dot com. Uh, the 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 goal was forty k. They reached fifty four thousand mm-hmm. and eight dollars. Uh, so that goes out to the staff, the the refs, the wrestlers. They get everything in that pot. So they get whatever that uh, division is. And above all else, like you could have t- tuned in. You could have looked at that roster. You could have looked at that schedule and you could have seen uh, something you didn't like. So you just said, oh, I'm just going to skip that one. Like, yeah. like, like Schlack. I, I know that we have some friend, uh, the fans who like Schlack. Who, who like the deathmatch type situation. I, for one, did not. So I just said, you know what? I'm going to wait until 9 o'clock in the morning, wake up with my bowl of cereal, mm-hmm. and watch some Camp Leapfro- Leapfrog when it comes on. Because they did an entire cybernet- Cybernetico match, which is seven on seven, elimination style for those two hours. And that was very good wrestling. Uh, of course, with somebody who's named a very good professional wrestler on the on the show, you you think that would be a thing. Uh, but still, overall, the wrestling was good. Was was really good. Production, maybe maybe not so, but the wrestling was really good, and also the commercials really weren't helping the fact <laughs> like like <laughs> god i i love terry funk so much how much do you love that this was the test of how much you love terry funk i do not love him yelling at me to fight forever, forever. Every, every single commercial break it was just him it was and honestly like after a while i'm like you know I mean, when it first started, I'm like, "Oh, this is nice." You know, they're 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 uh, high spots, high spot network, uh, high spots. Uh, one of the promote one of the uh, promotions that sponsored this, they had a commercial and they played him reciting the "Don't Give Up, Fight Forever" commercial, like for the for their commercial. And I'm like, like, when it first started, I'm like, "Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool." Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Not to mention, like, they showed it on these TVs, and it started getting. It, it, you hear it in the background, and then when he showed up on the screen, it got really loud, and it, like, <laughs> my ears just started ringing already. But every commercial break, there he is, just there, and then it, it, he just turned into a meme after that. Uh, and so much so that once they hit 
fifty k. I spots just said, okay, we'll done. We'll just take that off then. It's fine. <laughs> We're not going to run it anymore. No, they're not going to run it anymore. But then they showed it. Then they posted it on their YouTube page, and played it for an hour loop. <laughs> And like everybody just started, and then, and then all of a sudden, I really wanted, I really wanted to know how much it would be for them to put that commercial on the Super Bowl this week. <laughs> just, just, just a little nudge. That's all I want. Just a little nudge of Terry Funk. I, I, I'm not sure that the the fifty thousand in the dollars no. in the pot is going to be enough to get that. No. Even a few uh, forevers, but honestly, it's a nice. That's a good thought. Honestly, the fifty-four thousand for what? What these wrestlers have gone through last year? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. But yeah, it it it's amazing, and a lot of people should watch this on YouTube and and Fight TV. Maybe not with the uh, comments, but uh, but still, everybody should find a spot and watch something they love on this show because there is something that you will like on this show period yeah That's tina cool. mentioned uh uh the uh eric redbeard versus homicide yes uh i i was very much drawn to that match i just happened to stumble upon it whenever i was you know i, I was like you raise i would like talk away come back and i'd be like there's nothing to watch oh yes there is and i just flip it on and see who's around. going um and i like the the it, that was fascinating because homicide and redbeard are just like you know obviously they're pros mm -hmm. in in the in the fullest you know definition of the term so it was interesting to see them wrestling in that environment um uh yeah just i would very just cool. like to uh point out i'm sorry i didn't mean to uh, cut you no off. go ahead jump in uh that match was sponsored by time capsule toys mm. from mm. out in um gerard ohio that's my buddy's store he sponsored oh. that store or he sponsored awesome. that match Nice. Yep. And Ronnie, was there any other matches on there that you uh what fight forever? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch Fight Forever. <laughs> for you. Was there anything else from the weekend that you uh caught that you liked? Uh I love the Royal Rumble. I really yeah. love the Royal Rumble. Mm -hmm. It's probably the best one we've had in years. Yeah. And uh, I'm actually looking forward to Elimination Chamber and WrestleMania. So I decided to uh resubscribe to the WWE mm -hmm. network for as long as it lasts. <laughs> then, uh, you're, you're gonna get that free month and then yeah. it's gonna be over i'm gonna get yeah pretty much 